this video I'm going to talk about similarities and differences between rough IRA and traditional IRA that will help you decide which one is better choice for you so you can win with your money even save thousands in taxes now and in retirement. Hello, I'm Juan Kaekchan also known as Ohan the Money Doctor. If this is first time on this channel, thank you for stopping by. I'm a doctor of economics and a certified financial planner professional with over 20 years of financial industry experience. And this YouTube channel is about simplifying personal finance, saving, investing and building wealth. I'm going to reveal the similarities and differences between rough IRA and traditional IRA. You will also find out how to save big on taxes. And at the end of the video, I will give you a bonus point that will help you decide which IRA type is better for your specific situation. But first, let me explain to you one very important point. An IRA or individual retirement account is not an investment itself. It is an account that holds your investments. So you need to make sure your funds that you have in it are invested. And the good part is that if you choose the right IRA, it can save you thousands of dollars in taxes, not only now, but also when you retire. Now let's dive into the similarities of Roth and traditional IRAs. Here are five major similarities. First, in order to be able to put money into Roth or traditional IRA, you must have earned income in the year of the contributions. Earned income is a taxable compensation such as wages, salaries, compensations, tips, bonuses or net income from self-employment. However, not all taxable income qualifies for an IRA contribution such as earnings and profits from a property, interest income, dividends, capital gains, pensions, annuities, welfare, social security or unemployment benefits. If you don't personally have earned income, there is still an option. You and your spouse can each have an IRA, given that at least one of you has earned income and you file your taxes jointly. The second similarity is about the contribution limits. These limits determine the maximum amount you can deposit into rough or traditional IRA. For both types, the yearly limit in 2023 is $6,500 or $7,500 if you are over 50. In 2024, these limits have increased significantly to $7,000 and $8,000 for those over 50. This increase means you can invest more money in these tax-advantaged accounts to build wealth and realize your dreams. One important point to consider, the contribution limits apply to the total of your rough and traditional IRA contributions. If you have both types, your combined contributions cannot exceed $6,500 limit in 2023 or $7,000 in 2024. Bear in mind that exceeding these limits requires correction to avoid penalties. If you have deposited more than allowed in a year, withdrawing the excess amount is necessary to stay within the tax law limits. The third similarity is that you cannot contribute more than what you earn. If your yearly income is $3,000, your IRA contribution limit is also $3,000. The fourth similarity is that you can contribute to both types of IRAs from the start of tax year on January 1st until tax due date, usually around mid-April of the following year. The final similarity is that you can have an IRA in addition to your employer-sponsored retirement plans. You can have a 401k or 403b and an IRA at the same time. In fact, you can contribute up to the annual limit to each account, maximizing your retirement savings. Some individuals choose an IRA parallel to their employer plan if they are not happy with the investment choices provided with the plan. With an IRA, you gain access to a broad range of investment options. Now that you understand the similarities, let's really dive into details of how rough and traditional IRAs are different and see which will give you more bang for your retirement buck. And if you stick till the end, I'm going to give you one bonus point to consider while choosing the type of your IRA. 
So stay tuned for that. But first, if you find this information helpful, give thumbs up and comment down below what question you have about retirement and maybe I will answer it in one of my next videos. Now let's explore the four key differences between Roth and traditional IRAs. These differences can have a major impact on how much taxes you pay now and in retirement. The first and most significant difference between Roth and traditional IRAs is about their tax with a Roth IRA, you make after-tax contributions. This means you use your money that already in your pocket. You have paid taxes on it. The cool part is that as you invest these dollars in your Roth IRA, you can watch your money grow tax-free. And when you retire, you won't have to pay taxes on the money you take out. Pretty awesome, right? Just this factor only, in my opinion, makes the Roth IRA an ideal retirement account. In contrast, contributions to traditional IRA can be tax deductible. Here is how it works. Suppose your income is $50,000 and you decide to put $5,000 into your traditional IRA. In this case, you deduct the $5,000 from your income, only paying taxes on the remaining $45,000. This strategy helps you pay fewer taxes for the year. But how much can you deduct? It depends on factors like your income, tax filing status, and whether you have a workplace retirement plan like 401k or 403b. Here is the catch. While you don't pay taxes on the amount you put into your traditional IRA this year, you will have to pay taxes on both the initial contributions and any potential gain when you withdraw the money in retirement. The challenge is that it is impossible to predict the exact tax rate during your retirement years. Now, let's dive into the second difference which is about annual income limits. There is an annual income limit that determines if you qualify to contribute the full amount to Roth IRA. For 2023, the limit is $138,000 or $146,000 for 2024 for single tax filers. If you are married and filing jointly, the limits are $218,000 for 2023 or $230,000 for 2024. However, there is a legal workaround called the backdoor Roth IRA. In a nutshell, you contribute to a traditional IRA and then convert it to a Roth IRA. This works because there are no annual income limits for traditional IRA contributions. The third difference is about taking money out, also known as withdrawal or distribution rules. Let's break down what you are taking out from your IRA whether rough or traditional. There are two components, the original amount you contributed, your contributed amount, and the earnings you gained if you invested it wisely. For a rough IRA, you can withdraw your original contributed amount at any age, without any tax or penalties. However, if you withdraw any earnings from your Roth IRA, that portion may be subject to taxes and or a 10% early withdrawal penalty. But hold on, here is the cool part about the Roth IRA. If you are over age 59 and a half and have met the 5 year rule, meaning it's been at least 5 years since you first contributed to a Roth IRA, any withdrawal is tax and penalty free. This includes both your original contributed amount and any earnings on it. It's a fantastic deal that has the potential to save significant amount in taxes during your retirement. When you pay fewer or in case of Roth IRA no taxes at all, your retirement savings can last longer. That's why if you qualify for Roth IRA, getting one for yourself and one for your spouse is a very smart move. Now let's go over the withdrawal rules for traditional IRA. When you take out money after turning 59 and a half, you will pay taxes on the money at your current tax rate at that time, whether it is the original contributed amount or earnings. However, there are exceptions when you can withdraw money without paying the 10% early withdrawal penalty. Some of these exceptions include qualified higher education expenses medical or child adoption expenses, using the money to purchase or build your first house, and more. Of course, in this case also, certain rules and restrictions apply. It is absolutely crucial to resist the temptation of taking early withdrawal from your IRA unless it is an absolute last resort and life necessity. Your future self 
will thank you for allowing the money in your IRA to grow over the years, turning it into a substantial retirement nest egg. Patience and discipline with your retirement savings can significantly pay off in the long run. The fourth difference is about how long you can leave the money in each type of IRA. Since you have already paid taxes on the money in your Roth IRA, you can technically leave the money in the account for it to grow for as long as you want. There is no requirement to take out annual withdrawals. However, with a traditional IRA, you must start taking out the required minimum amount when you turn 73. Since you contributed dollars without paying tax on them, the government, also known as Uncle Sam, requires you to start withdrawing and paying taxes on the money. Otherwise, you will get penalized. And now you are aware of similarities and differences between rough and traditional IRAs and you can choose which is better for your specific situation. For me, my personal preference is Roth IRA. However, some individuals may benefit from a traditional IRA or even have both types, depending on their circumstances. As promised, here is the bonus point to consider while choosing between both types of IRAs. Ask yourself a simple but not an easy question. In what tax bracket do you think you will be when you retire? If you expect to be in a higher income tax bracket in the future when you start withdrawing money, then a rough IRA might be a good choice. On the other hand, if you expect to be in a lower tax bracket during retirement, then a traditional IRA can be a better option. In some cases, having both types of IRAs can be a smart idea for tax diversification. By splitting your contributions between rough and traditional IRAs, you can gain at least some benefit regardless of which direction the country's tax rates go or what your individual tax situation is in the future. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't downloaded my free guide to jumpstart your investing and building wealth, it is available totally free and I will leave the link in the description below. See you in my next video.